All right, on the infotainment screen, we right now we are at the home screen, which we push this button up here. And although there's there, there's no navigation with this unit, it does come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and I'll show you that in just a little bit. So you can use Google Maps or whatever navigation you have on your phone, uh, and it will display up here. All right, so basically here's your radio. We have, uh, right now we're set to AM, so to switch, you know, you just press band, and you can switch to FM. Okay, you can, if there's information available from the radio station on the channel, you can click that and the info will display, or you can scan through the channels here. Okay, to set a memory setting, you're just going to find the radio station you want, like 770, here I go, I'm going to press and hold. And now it's become AM 770. You can scroll through here. Okay, you've got a whole ton. Oh, my goodness, 40 presets. That should be enough. Okay, there's the radio. Okay, now if I want to go back to the home, I can press home button or I can just press the home button on the screen. Um, if I want to go back one step in the menu, I can go there. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the radio for a minute, and we're going to press the menu button. Okay, you can see a station list. You can see you can delete your presets, and you can do your sound settings. So um, this is kind of a neat thing um, right here. This is position, so this this will affect what you're setting down here, and then over here is how you set it. So this is a real real nice click and drag. So you can have the volume you know anywhere you want. Move it back to the center, or you can use the arrows to do that. Okay, volume. You can set your your phone volume here, or your general system volume. Okay, like uh, your ring, the ring tone on your phone, how loud it is, or like when the car gives you like voice warnings or prompts, how low the lo loud those are. And then if you go over to phone projection, hey. Okay, um, you can set how tall, how loud your media comes in and how loud the guidance is, like from your navigation. Okay. And if I go to tone, I can set the bass in the mid-range and the treble just by sliding these or clicking on plus and minus. Priority, I can turn these things on or off. A proximity warning lowers all, auto, all other audio volumes when the vehicle shifts out of park and the camera view is active. Or you can turn that on or off. Startup volume limit. Okay. Upon starting the vehicle, uh, the radio and media volumes um, lowers radio and media volumes if they are higher than factory set maximum startup levels. Okay. And then under advanced, okay, I have speed dependent volume control. I, I love this feature, so I am going to activate that one. Basically, that when you're driving slower, it'll lower the volume. And when you increase speed and, and road noise increases, it picks up the volume a little bit for you automatically. Okay, scrolling down here, you also have a default setting if you want to reset everything to default. All right, so I'm going to go back here to the home button. If I want to see, uh, basically in this home screen, you're going to see uh, these buttons down here. All menus, my menu, apps and info, and setup. And then you're going to see if your phone is connected, you'll see that displayed here, and then your radio over here, and then as well as time. Okay, so if I go into setup, okay, now I can get into a few more details here. Um, this again is the same sound button that we looked at earlier, just a different location. So I press my back arrow. Notice I didn't go to home. I didn't want to go back to the home screen. I just wanted to go back to the previous menu. So then I used that one. Um, and uh, I can look at display. Here you've got a mode you can select between automatic, which just it adjusts the level of the light in the infotainment center. Okay, and this is automatically set. You can set it to be assume it's always daylight or always assume it's night, and then it darkens it. Illumination. This is linked to the cluster illumination control if you want it to be. So if you're changing your uh, dashboard lights you can also change this at the same time or if you don't want to do that you uncheck that box and now you can set this one separately I think it's nice to have them linked and of course then you have reset to default 
Hey, going over here, we have a phone projection, and all that really allows you to do if your phone is connected, um, you just want to make sure that it's enabled. And you do this without the phone connected. So, Ivan, it's both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are enabled. Hey, I'm going to go backwards. You do have Bluetooth setup for your phone. Okay, if you want to do uh, Bluetooth connection instead of connecting to the phone, you certainly can do that. Uh, you can adjust your home screen a little bit as to what um, icons will be on there. It says you can drag the icons on the right over to the three buttons on the bottom. So let's say you want music. Now the uh, my menu disappeared and music showed up. So you can create these things like if you want like the a voice memo thing you use that frequently you can turn that around there put that in there okay very neat uh option to be able to customize your home screen like that you can set the date and time language keyboard if you want a keyboard you select a type of it it's always going to be a qtree type for english or a default english latin keyboard that would be for english french and spanish speaking uh, I'll go back button and I'll go scroll over. You can make a screensaver. Uh, right now the analog clock is listed, so but I could have nothing or I could have this. So after the screen hasn't been touched for a while, it'll automatically revert to the clock. Okay. You do have advanced. And here you have, uh, again, this is where you can program this button right here. Okay, custom button. Please assign a button to the function. Okay, so if I want this to be phone projection, or my menu, Bluetooth audio, or display, whatever, I can make that, I can change the function of that start button. Okay, um, if I go back to button here and I go into system info, this basically just tells you um, what firmware you have and then you can update from there. And there we go. That's the basics. And I just will mention again that this, let me go back to radio. This is volume. This is your, will work as your um, scrolling through stations. It is a six speaker system. It has a speaker in the dash and in the door on both sides. And then in the back, it has two additional speakers in the door. So six speakers. If you opt for the GT Line Turbo, you can get an Arm and Carton uh, sound system with a center speaker, uh, a separate subwoofer, and a separate amplifier. In the GT Line Turbo as well, you do have an additional feature where these portions of your pan door panels right here and down here in your bottle holders will light up and pulse to the music on both sides. And they actually do it in the rear in the same area. Uh, right by the door handle here where this uh, this area is. All right, and there is a little bit more in depth on the uh, infotainment system.